Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I'm Margie, and I come to show you a, a makeup video for bridal makeup. Um, I have like a, a short video or a picture in the description, either over here or over here. It depends on really where I'm gonna put the picture. So I'll show you how I came up with this bridal makeup look for the month of June. You know, it's a lot of brides out there, a lot of women out there who are getting married, and I just wanna show you how I do bridal makeup. So as you can see, I have on a white t-shirt and it says bride. getting married anytime soon. I also have uh, accessories as far as wearing for like if you're the bride, you're the wife, you know, getting married to your husband. Um, so I had to put that out there because I'm all for the traditional weddings. So uh, my eyebrows are already done. I've done a little bit with my eyelids where as far as I use concealer, I use translucent powder and a, a little bit of a color where it could blend in, you know, as far as my eyelids is concerned. So what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to choose between three palettes that I have here. three of these palettes here and you can use for bridal. The uh, Bon Bon's palette, Too Faced Bon Bon's palette, the chocolate semi-sweet palette, and also the regular original Too Faced palette you can use for bridal makeup. So um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose like maybe a natural tone, I guess. I'm gonna see exactly which one do I really wanna go with. So what I'm gonna use, I just came up with a look. So I'm just gonna make it more appropriate to my complexion because everybody's skin tones are different. So what I'm gonna do is go in with this shade right here and it's called Hulk Chocolate. It's called a Hope chocolate, hopefully that works. So I'm gonna use my Inglot brush to go into that shade. I'm gonna use that brush to go in and pat it on my eyelid. I'm gonna cross my whole eyelid and I'm gonna bring it up a little more towards my brow bone and like sweep it out like this. Same thing on this eye. I'm gonna blend it out. Outer part of my brow bone. Have something in my eye as usual. 
Anytime I start to mess with my eyes, I get the cold coming out. I don't like that. But let's proceed with the eyeshadow look. So I use that. And what I'm going to do next is, um, since this is more like a, I don't know what to call it, but I'm going to add a little. You can, you can also, okay, here's what we can do. You can also, if you don't want to just go with this, you can add some glitter to it. Like, um, like these two glitters that I have. One is a um, Coral Crush, and the other one is in Rose Gold. Rose Gold Retro. These two are by Stila. These are by Stila. So what I'm going to use is, I'm going to go in with a little bit of rose gold retro because I have like a rose gold inside the t-shirt, like a pinkish rose gold. So I'm going to add like a little touch of that to the center of my eye. Hopefully this all makes sense. So I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to dab on to the tip of the applicator to get a little bit of that color on there. And I'm going to take it and I'm going to dab it in the center of my eyelid. Hopefully you can see that. not even go extra glam I may just add this little bit of color here this little bit of glitter here and I may also add a uh, let me see let me get a brow a uh, um, pencil I'm gonna use this pen this um, flat brush angle brush to go across my eye my um last line with the sephora liner and do like a little smoky liner i guess is what you want to call it so we're going to take the brush and we're going to go tap on the product and put it into the brush I'm going to add as much as I need to. I don't want this to dry out fast because these liners tend to dry out quick. So what I'm going to do is take this little bit of product as you see here. And I'm going to put this on my eyelid across my last line.
And the thing about this is that you can wing it out if you like. I'm not going to wing it out too much. I'm just going to add enough. To my last line. If you can see how I did this. Okay. I'm going to do one on my other eye. I'm going to do this again on my other eye. I'm not going to use the whole point of the pencil. I'm just going to put this on my eyelid. Okay, so I'm taking that eyeliner and I'm putting it across. Sometimes the bride is crying, you know, because she's getting married. She says her vows to her husband. You have the whole wedding party crying. So, weddings to me are beautiful. So the next thing I'm going to use is my Benefit Rolling Lash Mascara. And I've done a video with this mascara before. So I'm going to also put this in the description bar below the video so that you can find where to get these products that I'm using. Before I put the lashes, I'm gonna cut them. I'm gonna trim them first, and then I'm gonna um, add them to my eyelash with the lash glue. If I can find my scissors. Okay. Found my 
my scissors. So I'm gonna take a pair of these lashes with my lash applicator. This is my favorite lash applicator. So I enjoy using this lash applicator. So put my lashes. So what I'm gonna do now is cut the outer corner of my lashes. comes with its own type of glue on it and sometimes it's like it's hard for the lashes to stick the way that I want them to. I have to take this glue off because when the company puts the lashes on there is to help it stick to the band. But sometimes I take Sometimes I take this glue off. And then I use okay. use either one of these last glues. I do a last glue. So I'm gonna use the green one. This is the original. I'm gonna use this one. So you can see how the glue is on the last band. And then I wave it. Even though I showed you already how I do my lashes. Sometimes I struggle with these lashes and sometimes I don't.
lipstick for her eyelashes. This is the whole eyelash look, the whole, the whole look with the eyes that I decided to come up with. So the next thing I'm gonna do now is, since I'm already finished with the eyes, I'm gonna start on the face. So as far as my T-zones, I'm gonna use the Sephora. I know this is like kind of, but the Sephora Mattifying Primer. I'm gonna put this on. Moisturizing primer already, so I don't need to put that on again. I just need to put where I am mostly oily, which is which is my favorite. And sometimes, like, sometimes I'm oily in my the bridge of my nose because I wear glasses. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my Sephora Best Skin Ever in the shade 53.5N, which I've showed you already how I use this shade. So I'm gonna add this to the palette. I start off with one pump first.
And what I'm gonna do next is um, I'm gonna add some powder. So I'm gonna use this contour kit by Kiss. Instead of using regular translucent powder, I'm gonna use these two shades here. Told you this brush. So I'm um, hopefully going to have to show you again this the double edge um, brush that I got from Sephora a long time ago and it still works. Still works on this. So I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna add a little highlighter. I'm gonna add that to the high points of my Another thing, you know what I forgot to do? Before I set the makeup, I'm gonna add a cup. I have a few options as far as lip color. You can do the Charlotte Tilbury. This little mini size Charlotte Tilbury. want the lipstick to last, you can use a drugstore brand like Maybelline, and this is in the shade Pioneer number 20. You can use that. Also, and as far as a lip liner, if you want to do a lip liner with a lip gloss, you can do Max Chestnut Lip Liner along with Buxom's. Russian lip plumper. That's what this one is. You can do this combo if that's what you choose. You know, I have like different options as far as um, the lip colors is concerned. So what I am going to do, I narrowed it down to using Max Chestnut lip liner along with Sephora's lip stories in the shade brunch date. So I'm going to use the Sephora, the MAC, I'm sorry, I'm going to use the MAC lip liner on my lips. Gel lip liner in the 
shave molasses. color them in I'm gonna fill it in and then I'm gonna um, let's see we're gonna use Max brunch tape I mean Sephora's brunch tape and I'm gonna use a disposable because sometimes I don't really like to put the dark lipstick on the put the dark lip liner on the lipstick so I'm gonna use it disposable to take the lipstick So I'm gonna use the fan. Just that quick, I forgot I had the fan with me, so. So, that's it for this bridal makeup look and I hope that you enjoyed this video please rate comment and subscribe oh it's one thing I forgot like as far as hair accessories it's one thing I forgot I have hair accessories that I forgot to show you um I got these from Marshalls you can add these to your hair and you can also add like uh, I almost forgot I bought this from Amazon. It's a bridal hair piece. Because I wanted to do a video with it. I never really used this bridal hair piece. So this is basically like a tiara type of thing where you could also take this and fix it how you see you can know, take it and add it to your hair like this and you can take these white strings off if you want you don't have to keep these on here you can take this and pin it to your hair you know as far as your hairstyle is concerned you can put that on there I got this from Amazon um, you can put that on your hair or if you want to wear it across your forehead, you can. Like this. Let me show you. You can wear it like this. To accent your veil or something like that. You can wear it like that. 
Um, and as far as your hair accessories, like let's say for your bridal party, you can use these for your bridal party. You have one that says wifey, you have one that says bride, and another one that says love. And the two is just original uh, hair pins that I worn, you know, but as far as love, wifey and bride, you can wear those to your bridal shower. These are like bridal, bridal shower accessories. You can get these from either Marshalls or Amazon. So, um, as I said before, thank you for watching my bridal makeup video. And as I said before, um, I appreciate it if you subscribe, support my channel. And subscribe, like I said, subscribe to my channel. Oh, my words are tongue twisted. Comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And share it with your friends and family. Until then, thank you for watching my video.